Thanks for tuning in to this latest video weather briefing. This is Alex Tardy, National Weather Service Meteorologist. We're going to talk about significant precipitation potential and a large northwest swell expected to impact Southern California later this week. The weather pattern will look like this later this week, specifically on Thursday, November 29th. A broad but rather deep upper level storm system and steered by a strong Pacific jet stream will dive across central and southern California as shown here. This will also tap into a moderate atmospheric river. The highlights that we're expecting from this storm well initially we're going to be dry and mild through Tuesday with fog and low clouds developing Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. Now the light showers will become more widespread Wednesday night mainly after midnight but a steady rain will develop on the coastal slopes Wednesday night for Orange and San Bernardino counties. That steady rain will become more widespread on Thursday with heavy rains at time for Orange and San Bernardino counties spreading into western Riverside and San Diego counties in the afternoon and evening so impacting the commute. Urban small stream and dry creek flooding is possible midday and through the afternoon and evening hours. The rainfall totals are shown here. Most locations should receive a half inch to an inch and a half of rain. Those rain rates will get up to about a half inch per hour at the heaviest period and most of the period a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. Now the grand totals of two to four inches with locally up to five on some of the coastal slopes. So quite a bit of rainfall and certainly our largest storm so far this year. The wind potential, it'll be windy in the coast and valleys with gusts 25 to 35, but up in our mountain areas 40 miles per hour plus with some of the windiest areas over 60 miles per hour, especially with that cold front on Thursday. Now snow levels, it's important to note, they'll be really high Wednesday night. This is a moist, warm system initially. They'll be up around 10,000 feet and then they'll crash on Thursday with that cold front down to 5,500, 6,500 feet. So we could see a quick several inches of snow um, at the mountain town locations around 6,000 feet and certainly a little bit over six inches for the ski resort level of 7,000 feet. The rain will taper to numerous showers Thursday evening. It will last the longest in San Diego County and possibly into Friday morning commute. Significant northwest swell is also expected and we don't want to uh, downplay this at all. We are expecting big waves especially for San Diego coastal areas with west and northwest exposure. We could see sets of 6 to 10 feet uh, for the surf and that's especially on Thursday and Friday and then starting to taper on Saturday. All right here's a look at graphically what we expect this is storm total rainfall again most areas a half inch to an inch and a half that includes San Diego County and our coastal slopes those west southwest facing slopes they're expected to receive one to three inches of rain and the wettest locations up around five inches. Again, most of this is going to be rain with the latter half of the storm, say Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening, uh, when the snow levels finally come down to 6,000 feet. The wind gust potential. Uh, we do expect significant winds over our waters and even our coastal areas, but generally 25 to 35, so not strong. But in our mountain and coastal areas, in our high desert, we do expect strong winds with a lot of areas exceeding 50 to 60 miles per hour as shaded in orange and red on this map, especially on Thursday. Now one other thing I want to mention is the low clouds and fog. Well, we should see an increase in low clouds pretty quickly Tuesday night and Wednesday morning and that could produce some dense fog in our mesas and hills in those dark green shaded areas for Wednesday morning. Now, finally, the northwest swell, it's going to be significant. We're going to see it curling around San Clemente Island. The shaded areas, we expect to swell anywhere from 7 to up to 11 feet. Some of that's going to reach the coast of San Diego County. And that's where we could see some big surf, especially on Thursday and Friday. Now, Orange County areas won't see nearly as high surf as the swell is much smaller in that area, but still significant. 
I want to remind you that from our National Weather Service webpage, if you're planning any travel across our region, and some of this could include snow impact Thursday afternoon and Thursday night, along with the potential for rock slides and debris flows, and also just the plain heavy rain and high winds, this map here is used for highlighting hazards across the highways. This updates right off of our webpage, weather.gov San Diego. All right, the summary. The main threat appears to be on Thursday due to the significant rainfall and also the major northwest swell impacting our coastal beaches. That is the period where we could see some urban flooding, potentially even debris flow flooding, as well as rock slides in our mountain areas due to the heavy rain. That's also the time when we expect uh, high winds in our mountain areas and some of our canyons. Now the snow will become a problem likely by later on Thursday in the afternoon and Thursday night as really high snow levels crash down to around 6,000 feet. So any travel plans or outdoor activities for later this week please note the abrupt changes expected on Thursday. The next chance for rain is much more uncertain, appears to be over the weekend.